What's a story from your life so outrageous you wouldn't believe it if someone else was telling it? Met a dude on Xbox Live and game together for a while. A couple weeks later, I had a party at my apartment and one of my roommates invited a neighbor. I met him and talked for a little before I realized it was that guy I had been playing Xbox with. It turns out he had lived in the building next door the entire time. Went from Xbox friends to actual friends after that. Turned out one of my classmates who we all thought was a 15-year-old girl was actually a 30-year-old woman. When I was visiting Korea, my taxi driver spoke perfect English, was an escaped convict, and got into a high-speed chase with the cops while he was dropping me off. When the chase started, he ran a stoplight and almost got us hit by a truck, then sped up over 100 miles per hour swerving through traffic. He actually sorta of juked the cops and dropped me off in a random alley about 2 miles away from where I needed to be. I peed myself a little and I was so shaken when he dropped me that could barely walk. By the way, he put me out of the car at like 510 mile per hour, it was super fast. My dad once shook the tree in our garden and a whole ass trout fell out of it. To this day I wonder where it came from. I assume a bird dropped it? There aren't any big bodies of water nearby though. Maybe the neighbors chucked it out of a window? I've had a fire alarm go off whilst in an MRI then a CT scan machine and then on a radiotherapy treatment table. All of them require you to be inside the machine strapped in, all took place in different hospitals and it was over the course of a year. Accidentally throwing away $1,000 in New York City it was in an envelope that my partner unknowingly put in recycling and then going to the recycling center in Staten Island, wading through a literal mountain of papers magazines cardboard, and actually finding it. It's my best true story, and I don't think most people believe me. I randomly met the dude that I was born with. Our mothers gave birth to us in the same hospital on the same day and shared a recovery room. 25 years later, on the other side of the country, he was dating my roommate. One time I went to a new co-worker's holiday party in NYC. 30 minutes in I realized I was at the wrong address when I couldn't find my co-worker but I did find Ansel Elgort and Timothy Chalamet hanging out on the couch. I had a class with two people in it who were both named Unique but each was spelled a different way, so I guess they were still technically correct. I met my wife at her wedding reception. Also, back in college I wrote a short story and threw a fictitious phone number in for the for a good time call. Line. Based it on some friends' room numbers. Fast forward 6 years and I'm filling out a job app and they have the same phone number. I've worked for them 23 years now. The outrageous one month fiasco that involved me crashing a dog scooter into a pond being hit in the face with a frozen lime and getting a black eye, my husband getting an airpod stuck up his nose, our trip to the hospital and the nurse calling the police on him for domestic abuse allegations because I had a black eye and was covered in bruises. I think I've told this story before but here goes. I was a sophomore in high school and my mom worked at a hospital as head of security. They run drills to test each system including infant abduction drills. So mom brought me in and I had to go into a room and steal a fake baby. I shoved it in a Lowe's bag and ran to the stairs and made it out. One of the nurses threw a shoe at my head. When I was a newborn and my parents were bringing me home from the hospital for the first time, my neighbor ran outside and pointed a shotgun at my face, and was yelling at my parents take that fucking baby elsewhere, that thing is gonna cry and make too much noise. Needless to say the police were called, and the SWAT team became involved. I answered a Craigslist ad in a desperate whim to get a job in film, ended up working for a year for a crazy fuck who, thanks to some good pandemic timing, became a Netflix phenomenon. Like an idiot, he had me rolling the camera at all times, and some of my footage would later be used as evidence in the nine charges against him for illegally killing and selling tigers. I was placed in a therapy institution run by an Israeli gym teacher when I was 11. He claimed to be a psychiatrist and ended up just beating a bunch of helpless children. When he was found out, he fled back to Israel. The hospital that sent their patients to him was run by mostly Scientologists. After my mother went forward with a lawsuit against them, she received a call from someone saying they were going to kill her and her children if she didn't drop it. Apparently Scientologists were kicked out of Germany for engaging in contract killing, so we were pretty scared. When we were growing up this one dude's mom stuffed a piñata thing with lots of fruit. She must have left it out for a long time? Cause all I remember was her son smashing some transformer looking thing, it breaking open, fruit falling out and us being like where is the candy then seeing random insects falling along with the fruit and crawling in all the crap that fell on the floor. Oh and her son literally running away from the raining bugs and bananas, I remember that too. 
When I was the brokest I ever was, I had to walk to the store to grab something. I passed McDonald's and thought I wish I'd find some money and treat myself. Not a minute later, I see Samadine getting blown around and into into the grass beside me. A $10 bill landed almost directly next to me, so I accepted my gift and got McDonald's. The funny thing is now that I am much better off, McDonald's is like a last report kind of option. But it was the best meal ever that day. I was bow hunting out on my property one fall evening, when a pack of cats ran by me. Not a small pack mind you, there were so many I couldn't even count them but if I were to ballpark guess, I would say 25-ish. I sat there in disbelief for several minutes, because I have never seen a cat on my property. It still boggles my mind when I think about it. I Serial killer tried to delure me and my girlfriend into the bushes in a city that both parties were traveling through for the night after befriending us. Her dad had showed her a news article about the guy before she left on our trip, and that was enough to set off a little warning for her, she redirected us. We looked at the mugshot the next day and yes definitely him. Got arrested further down the road a couple days later. When I was growing up I lived in a small town of about 2,500 people in Illinois. We went on vacation to South Dakota. While hiking through the Badlands, and I can't stress how far out we were, this was in the middle of our hike, we just randomly walked by our neighbor from across the street. My parents just looked at him and both groups' brains just couldn't process how random it was we were both there at the same time. Apparently a distant cousin married and moved in with his wife and when they were unpacking their things into their new house they found that they each had the same picture from a preschool class and they were sitting next to each other. My grandfather was lost and presumably killed in the Bermuda Triangle. I have a small scar on my neck from a burn mark that I sustained from slipping in my kitchen while carrying a hot plate of food. What was the food that left that scar? Beans. Got kicked out of jail for fighting. Actually, I was a news photographer back in the 80s, covering a story in the local jail. Another photog was there that I didn't get along with. I was young and probably high, what can I say? He didn't like me either. Words were exchanged, then elbows that's how we fought back then when carrying TV cameras, and the ruckus got progressively louder. Finally, the sheriff said, you boys got to take it outside. You upset in the inmates. True story. I walk with a cane now and have tried my best to be a better person. Me and my brother were sitting on roof late night during blackout, the sky was dark but not that much, but suddenly the whole sky went pitch black like someone had switched off the lights outside the planet. It freaked us out but we don't know WTF that was and it just seems like weird alien story if we tell it to other people. I was doing a six-week student placement in a mental hospital, London St. Pancras, they had no records for warning of my arrival and so they admitted me until lunchtime. I was in the detox ward in a locked room. I wanted to get to my bag in the next room, so I decided to crawl through the vent. Midway through the vent my hospital gown falls off. So I slide out of the vent naked and they are having a meeting in the room. I guess this isn't incredibly outrageous but once I was driving with a friend and we stopped at a red light. I looked over next to us and an old couple was in the car. The old lady caught my gaze and held up a teddy bear. I smiled and then she started making it wave at me. I tapped my friend to look over and they did, and just when we thought it couldn't get better, the man sitting next to the lady held up an identical teddy bear and they both made the bears wave at us in unison. Then they drove away. It was really cool. There were acres of forest behind my GFS family farm and we were driving a golf cart along the path beside it. All of a sudden a 12-point buck crashed out of the woods right beside us and just ran alongside us for a good hundred meters or so before disappearing back into the forest. It was the most majestic and surreal thing I've ever been a part of. I put my dog down a couple years ago and fell into a deep depression. Drinking and smoking weed every day for months. One day I called up an old friend and we talked about our dog's passing and how it made us feel. I made an analogy along the lines of, I just feel empty. I could be walking down the street, find a $5 bill and just keep walking. Later on that night I found a $5 bill on the street. I took it as a message from my dog. Yes it sounds silly but the emotions I felt that night were unlike anything I've ever felt before or since. Not too outrageous, but when I was young, I once won at least 10 prizes off the radio in the span of a month I used different radio stations as I believe they were regulations regarding how many times you can win from the same station in a month. 
I was in the shower and had soap on my feet I slipped on a curve in the tub and went right through a glass shower screen but didn't smash it and when I was lying on the ground wondering what the hell had happened I nearly had the glass screen fall on top of me my dad comes up to see what the hell's going on and sees me standing there bollock naked and wrestling his shower screen. We adopted out dog in the town we were living in at the time. We moved two towns away a year later and her newly adopted sister happened to be living around the corner from our new house. They saw each other almost every day on our walks. If my dog's sister wasn't outside my dog would lie down on the sidewalk and wait until she came outside or I eventually picked her up to go home.